Hey y'all and welcome to the Hillbilly Chicken Ranch. I'm Susan, your hostess. Today we're going to do hashtag cleaning hacks 24 hosted by me, the Hillbilly Chicken Ranch. This is an open collaboration. You can use the natural cleaners or cleaners that you have purchased in uh, these uh, videos and this collaboration. If you like the product, you can share what you like about it. Now, this is my husband's, uh, one of my husband's work shirts, and you can see it's got several grease stains on it. And grease is one of the hardest things I know of to get out of clothes. But I have found a formula that works for me and sometimes you may have to wash them once or twice. Now these are set in stains. These have been washed and dried several times and we're going to see if we can get them out today. So the first product I'm going to use is plain old dish soap. Now you can use Castile soap if you want to and I'm just going to hit all these spots with some soap. And you can be as generous as you want to be um, with that soap. And I'm going to take an old toothbrush, and this is an old one, and I'm going to just go over those spots really quickly with this dish soap. Just kind of rub it in. We're going to do several steps here. And uh, this is also really good for getting out pet odors and other things. Uh, if you've got a pet that has accidents in your home, you can use it on carpets and you can use it on floors. You can even use it on a pet that has been sprayed with a skunk. That's how good this is. So the first ingredient is the dish soap. The second ingredient is plain old baking soda. And I'm just going to sprinkle that on all of these. Again, taking that toothbrush and working it into those stains. You can uh, do this all at once or you can do it individually as I'm doing it today. You want to make sure that you're getting that good in there. And my last ingredient is hydrogen peroxide. Now I'm using um, just a regular old hydrogen peroxide that you buy at Walmart. And I'm just gonna saturate those stains. Uh, hydrogen peroxide is adds oxygen. So it's like a OxyClean when you put it on your clothing. Now you wanna test uh, this on some clothes. If it's something that's going to fade, you do wanna test it before you use it. So we're going to rub that in. I've got two t-shirts to do. We're going to uh, wash these and see how we did. Now you can actually take this again and just kind of rub your hands together if you want to. I'm going to move these out of my way. We're going to open up this dish, this washing machine and we're going to just ball it up and throw it in. So I'm putting it into my machine. I'm going to grab the other t-shirt. And I still have it on its hanger. This one actually has bigger stains than the other t-shirt. So we're going to fold it over again and we're going to work on those stains. Big stains. Need soap. Now, dish detergent, dish uh, liquid soap has a degreasing agent in it. You can use Castile soap, it works as well, although it's more expensive to purchase. Or you could use a bar soap. If you have a bar soap, you could wet your t shirt down, use the bar soap. Now, this time I'm just going to sprinkle my baking soda over my stains. So I'm going to have to grab some more baking soda. We want to put some baking soda on this. And again with a toothbrush. So you just want to work into those stains. 
This kind of creates a paste when you do it this way. And again, I'm going to uh, use that peroxide and then really scrub this good. This is a good way to make your clothes last and you're not going to be cutting them up for rags or anything like that. So I'm going to give this a good dousing of peroxide because it's got a lot of big stains on it. And again, I'm just going to rub it, get that worked into that fabric. Now you don't want to let this mix sit. You want to wash immediately. So we're going to get this one balled up and get it into the machine. And you can tell I really saturated that because it comes through on the back side. So we're going to put this in the machine as well. Going into the machine. I'm going to throw my soap in and then we're going to just wash it in cold water. Uh, th these are dark colored clothes, so cold water is what I need. And y'all excuse the stains on my, my washer, it needs to be cleaned as well. So I'm just going to throw a pot in there because that's what we're using right now. I know, I know, those are hormone disruptors, y'all. So we're going to turn on our machine. I'm going to set it to cold, heavy soil, bulky. I've got my deep fill option on and I'm going to press start. Look at those. Let's take a look at those t-shirts. So I'm bringing out the first one. Y'all look, absolutely no stains anywhere on there. It's amazing. Oh my goodness. Let's get the other t-shirt out. Straight out of the dryer, y'all. Now this one was the one that was more stained, so it does have a few stains left on it. Uh, we're going to put this back through again. You can still see the stains that are there, but it looks a little bit better than it did the first time around. So, you want to get to them before the stains get too big and bad. Uh, these are grease stains from food, more than likely. Um, and if you want to get out car grease or something else, uh, there's a product that has lanolin in it. It's a, a degreaser that you can buy. It's relatively cheap. It comes in a big container. You just take a handful of that, smear it all over that grease spot, and let it sit for a few minutes, then wash, and it will work and get out car grease. I've done it. I'm telling you. So, this was a partial win and a partial fail today, but that's okay. This second t-shirt is really, really stained. That may not even be grease stains. Um, but it is really saturated. I've got another load of clothes to do, so I'm going to apply that again. We're going to get that stain out some way, somehow today. Thank you, my friends, for watching. This is... Hashtag Cleaning Hacks 24, hosted by the Hillbilly Chicken Ranch. I hope that you have enjoyed this. I hope you will try this out. As I said at the beginning, uh, you can use the dish soap, baking soda, and peroxide on pet stains, uh, you know, like urine stains and stuff. It will take out the urine smell. Um, you can use it on dogs when they get sprayed by a skunk. It will take out the odor. It is amazing. I've used it on many, many stains over the years. I know it works. Well, y'all have a wonderful and blessed rest of your day. Thank you again for watching.